Hello everybody, welcome back to Fish That Won't Quit. Today I'm going to show you how to tie the FG knot. The FG knot is one of the strongest knots used to tie braid to monofilament or braid to fluorocarbon, but it is one of the more difficult knots to learn. So let's get started. In my left I have my monofilament line I'll be using, the green line, and in the right is my yellow braid. And the first step is to lay your braid on top of your monofilament, creating a cross, and have about six inches of monofilament tag hint and to work with here and then on the bottom we have about eight to ten inches of braid to work with now the first step here is to run this braid under and over your monofilament tag and some people like to just tuck this under their thumb and move on to the next step but i like to do a different process to make sure the knot is forming correctly so what i do is I actually grab it here with my left hand then my right hand i grab the mono tag and the braid main and in my left hand, I have my mono main and my braid tag. And you pull on all four. And what happens is your braid will make a cross on your monofilament, just like so. And that's perfect. So go ahead and grab that with your left hand. And then you're gonna do the same process with your braid main side. So under the monofilament tag and over, I like to grab it here with my left. And then with the right hand, I grab the mono tag and the braid tag. In my left hand, I have the braid main and the mono main. And we're doing the same thing. Just making sure that the braid sits right up against the previous loop you just did. Okay. So that's a one set and you do a total of 10 sets, making it 20 loops. So we'll do the same process here. So the, the braid tag over and around. Grab with your left, grab the right sides, and cinch that braid up against the previous. So that's two for the bottom, and then we'll do two for the top. Grab and cinch. And we'll do that a total of 10 times on each side. So we got three, three, Four, four, five, five. Remember your goal is to just keep having these butt up against the previous and make it a nice clean set of loops. So we got six here. Six. And six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine, nine, and the final set here for ten and ten. All right, so you should actually be left with something that looks similar to the beginning of your knot with your braid main going up, braid tag your mono tag and your mono main going left. And you have the first set of the FG knot started here. Now the second step of this whole knot is to do half hitches. So what you'll want to do is run your braid main and mono tag along each other. And I like to grab it just like so. And with your braid tag, it's what you're going to be using to make the half hitches. So what you'll do is place the braid around both back and up through the loop and you'll cinch this down to the FG knot you started. Now what I like to do is actually use my teeth to cinch this a little easier. You grab each side with your hands and then the little tag in with your teeth. And just snug that up and make sure your half hitches are going up against your previous loops. So that's one half hitch around both and you're going to do that again 
And I like to actually run this half hitch as the, the half hitch the opposite way. So you go under both, around, and down through your loop. And we'll cinch that down to the FG knot. Same process with my teeth here. Okay, really making sure that it's just going up against that previous half hitch. So you have those two half hitches set. Now you do two more half hitches, but not along both lines, but just along the braided. So move over your mono, grab your braid main here, your braid tag will do two set, two half hitches. So around, under, and through, and pulling it snug. I'll be using my teeth again here. Okay, then one more time, but in the opposite direction, under, around, and down through that loop. And snug this up as well. Okay. So now I have all your half hitches done. And you actually want to set these half hitches a little bit better. So what I do is I grab the braid tag end with my right. And I actually grab my mono tag and my braid main with my left. And I leave the mono hanging and really snug this down. Make sure you're just getting that half hitch set as hard as you can. Okay. Now you can let go of that. And the next step is gonna be the most critical of this knot, and that's to set these first loops down onto your monofilament. So you wanna lubricate this knot at this moment. And then you're going to be grabbing the main part of your braid and the main part of your mono and you're gonna really cinch this knot. Let's move these tag ends out of the way. Cinch this as hard as you can, and your braid should start almost changing colors on your monofilament, meaning you're setting that knot right into the monofilament, making a good connection, okay? Now you have to do that step before you cut off the tag ends. Now you have the monofilament tag in to cut here and cut that as close as you can to your previous knots. And that'll make it run through your guides a little bit easier. Now, some people like to make a finishing knot with this braid tag to cover your mono that you just cut, but I don't find that necessary and I actually cut the knot at this point. And with the braid tag, just a nice clean cut doesn't have to be right up against the knots as braid is easier to go through guides. And then what you're left with is a completed FG knot. And I'm pulling on this as hard as I can right now and it is not budging. All right guys, I hope you liked the video. If that was helpful, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down as well. And until next time, thanks for watching.